you, Shannon. Yes, we do. And I will ask you right off the bat, if you use Regency Gold, we would love to hear from you. This product has been with HSN for many years for good reason. The stuff is amazing. I use this on virtually any surface in my home. I use it, obviously, on a lot of the wood pieces that I have. I use it on my, on my beautiful hardwood floor. It is amazing. Railings doesn't matter. John Florell is here to talk about it. This product has been around for a long yeah, time. Trusted by people that do That's right. uh, what, what? Bed and breakfast. Oh, yeah. Makeovers. Listen, museums use yes, Regency yes. Gold. Uh, churches. It's used in, in stately okay. homes all around the world. The reason that, it, that, it, that they use it and they trust it is because it works so gently. All right? This, uh, I mean, take a look at this. On hardwood floors, you can use it. It's, it brings back your hardwood floors. Any piece of wood furniture you may have in your house, what happens is we all, we're all used to using those paste waxes and the, the dusting sprays that leave a residue behind on our furniture and on any type of wood in our home. Regency Gold removes that, revealing its natural beauty and its natural glow. I mean, hey, if you've got water rings on your furniture or a heat ring, right. uh, Regency Gold will usually take those out. And the reason, again, it works so gently, and that's why it's been trusted for years. It's been invented in, eight, in 1895 yeah, yeah, yeah. by an English wood craftsman. Yeah. Here's a piece of oak. This is a, a, chair, a piece of a chair leg. Uh, just to give you an idea of how it works and why people love it so much, you know, uh, dingy, furniture happens let's just face it I mean if you use those wood polishes like well here we we've all used this stuff before right, right. That, that paste wax that grandma used to use you take a little bit of that paste wax you put it on a cloth like this uh -huh. and then you smear that onto your furniture all right and then once you smear it onto your furniture you're supposed to flip the cloth over and buff and you buff and you buff and you buff and you buff <laughs> until it starts to shine. Yeah. Now, a lot of people might be happy with the shine that you get from a paste wax, but watch the difference with Regency Gold. Now, it works a little bit differently. Regency Gold is a liquid polish. Shake the bottle really well before you use it and then pour a little bit into a small bowl or a bin like this. Uh, just a little bit is all you need. And then take any soft cloth that you may have at home. Uh, it could be an old sock or a piece of a t-shirt that you want to cut up. I use a piece of a, a flannel sheet to give you an idea. Uh, but you want to completely saturate that cloth with Regency Gold. Now the secret is to wring out as much of the Regency Gold out of that cloth as you possibly can. In fact, the less you use, the better it works, okay? Now what's left inside here, we don't throw that away, all right? You don't waste anything with Regency Gold. You pour that right back into the bottle for the next time you wanna polish some furniture. So it's very, very economical to use. It doesn't matter how much wood furniture you have in your house. Right. I mean, it, you're only using a few drops at a time. Now Regency Gold is non-toxic, it's non caustic it's actually good for your wood you can use it on oak cherry mahogany teak maple pine mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what type of wood furniture you may have it cleans polishes wow. and it feeds the wood it's actually good for your wood furniture i mean look that at the difference amazing. that regency gold makes and that wax <laughs> that wax you know it's funny the wax looked okay yeah that looks amazing it, and that's the difference it brings it back to its natural beauty and its natural glow yeah here's a piece of uh of, of painted wood if you have painted wood in your home maybe you've got painted furniture try it around your door casings you know where your fingerprints get or right around the doorknobs in the house especially the garage door how about for uh, crown molding or baseboards anywhere you get scuff marks uh, on, on painted wood it works on painted wood too it brings back the natural beauty and the natural glow of that furniture now this is my favorite piece of wood all right this is a piece of mahogany and it's yeah. it's all that's left of an antique chair it's a beautiful piece but you wouldn't know it underneath all of the, what's, uh, what's the on, I was gonna say what's I mean, on there John it's it, years of wax buildup uh, dirt wow. grime fingerprints all of these things happen on our furniture now we just took a quick snapshot of that before we're going to do a live before and after for you okay we got a quick snapshot of this yeah, watch the is. difference now okay yep. with regency gold again it doesn't matter what type of furniture you have it could be mahogany teak Right. It's great on teak, uh, maple or pine, even inexpensive pine furniture. It brings back its natural beauty and its natural glow. It removes the years of wax buildup that's on our furniture wow. and brings it back to its natural state. I mean, just look at the difference. We're going to put these side by side. Look at that's that. a live before and after. And again, hopefully your furniture isn't as look dirty at, as the, the do before you, do shot you there. see how beautiful but, that, I mean, look at, I, mean, yeah, I want to just, just kind of move it so you can see. It brings back its natural 
natural look. Now, oh here's gosh, the difference, John, though. That's okay? beautiful. Yeah. See, most furniture polishes or waxes put a false shine on your furniture, which means, you know, that, uh, that remember that piece of oak that we did, that right. oak chair leg? You know, see how shiny and, uh, like, glossy that looks? That's because that's got a high-gloss finish. Now, furniture polishes will put a high-gloss finish on anything for a while until it starts to dull, all right? On a matte piece of furniture, like if you've got paneling in your home, or maybe you've got a, a, a matte finish on a piece of furniture, <coughs> you don't want it shiny. You want it to come back to its natural beauty and its natural matte glow. So Regency Gold will not put a false shine on your furniture. What you're doing is removing the wax, all that wax buildup, and, and revealing the natural look and the natural beauty of your wood furniture. Even yeah. on a matte piece like this, look Beautiful. at the natural beauty well, of that. Well, because anybody can put oil in a spray, yeah, yeah, right. right? Which is what a lot of the of the lemon products are out there. Yes. You're like, you're spraying oil on it. it I mean, anything is going to shine with oil, but it doesn't get clean. That's exactly right. And then doesn't that oil also attract it attracts dust. more? And here's yeah. the thing. You'll notice when you use Regency Gold, and you can read the reviews online on hsn.com, it actually makes it so you dust less often because it, what it does is it removes all of the, the sticky, waxy buildup from all of those other polishes and waxes that we've used on our furniture and it reveals its natural beauty. So it looks wet, but it's not. Yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, feel, yeah. on your kitchen cabinet no, doors, fingers, you're gonna dry. You'll love this on your kitchen cabinet doors. I mean, if you've got the cooking grease and smoke that's built up on your cabinet doors in the kitchen, with Regency Gold, it removes that. Again, why reface your kitchen when you <laughs> all you have to do is polish up the wood? I mean, that's how quick and simple it yeah. brings it back to it back to life. Again. What it does, and by the way, and, and, and I want to remind you again, you get two bottles of this stuff, so this is going to last you at least a yeah. year or two. I mean, you know, with with every day, it depends. If you're doing large surfaces, if you're doing your floors and things like that, which, by the way, it's the best floor cleaner ever. Uh, you know, but if that's what's important, is uh, John, that versus the, this stuff, we've got this clean yes. and restores. And here's the thing: we, yeah. we took Regency Gold into a, a bed and breakfast up in Pennsylvania. We've got video of this. Okay, cool. All of the products that we that, that have, were used on this furniture. Here's the exterior doors. I mean, oh think my. of the sun, the wind, the rain, the snow. Look at Whoa. the difference side by side on hardwood floors. A oh little tip. Gosh. Here's a tip for you: take one cup of Regency Gold. Gold, mix it with a half a gallon of mop water, it will bring your hardwood floors back to life again. Wow. I mean, you'll be amazed on your hardwood floors. If you have a heat ring or a watermark on a piece of furniture, think about it like this. When you set a glass of ice water down on a, raw, on a, a finished piece of wood, right. and there's a wax buildup on there, it turns the wax white, right? right. Yep. Any water, that's it just discolors the wax buildup the on wax. the furniture. So if you can remove the wax buildup, you're gonna right. remove that heat ring or watermark. And you know, everybody's got those embarrassing rings on their oh, furniture yeah, yeah, yeah. at home. And they're right, they think it's ruined forever. Yeah, yeah. Try, and again, try this stuff. This, this is a very unique piece. It's got several different types of wood in here, this inlay. But I'll tell you, this is the reason. It works so gently that you can use it on any type of wood furniture. So, and that's why uh, uh, five-star hotels, museums, churches, they all trust Regency Gold because it's so gentle on your wood furniture. I mean, look, look at, at the difference in just a matter of seconds. And look and, at this. And, and John, <laughs> I have to show everybody yeah. this. I want you to look at my hand. There's, there's no this, grease, this there's no oil, there's no silicones or waxes. You can see on my fingers, it's, it's non abrasive. Dry. Yeah. That and is you, amazing. And again, here, if you're into antiquing, all right, I went to an antique store and found this little three tier, it's a tilt top table, okay? It's really kind of a cool table. But you know, with all the dust and the d uh, dirt and the years of age on the furniture, look at this. Again, I'm using the same cloth. You d you, all you do is saturate the cloth with Regency Gold, wring it out as good as you can, and you go from one piece of furniture to the next to the next to the next bringing it Jeez. back to life i mean look at the difference that regency gold makes in just a matter of seconds on your furniture and i want to show you again how you use regency gold because it is different than most waxes or polishes so instead of smearing wax onto your furniture and then trying to buff it off take a little bit of regency gold you pour it into a, a, a small bowl or a bin that you have at home and then with any soft cloth that you may have to saturate that cloth completely with Regency Gold, all right? The, and now, the secret, 
wring out as much of the Regency gold out of that cloth as you possibly can. Remember, the less you use, the better it works. And then what's left in here, you don't throw that away. You pour it right back into the bottle. So no matter how much wood furniture you have in your home, you're only using a few drops at a time. So yeah. it's very, very economical to use. Mm -hmm. Here's a piece of pine, all right? This is a drawer front from a cabinet. And I'll tell you what, it's an, it, pine is an inexpensive wood. Uh, but it's beautiful. Uh, but what happens is, you know, over time, you get fingerprints, smudge marks. The kids have dirty hands all over the furniture. Yeah. And, and maybe it's the wax or the, the wax buildup that from all of those other products that you've used on your furniture over time. Look at the difference that makes. And, and that's just a piece of pine. So you can imagine on expensive woods like teak, if you have teak furniture, here's a piece of teak right here. Uh, any type of wood, mahogany, oak, maple, cherry, pine, it doesn't matter what type of furniture you have, what type of wood furniture you have, any painted or finished wood furniture Regency Gold brings it right back to life. Look at that, and, and you see the grain of the wood. It doesn't mask it, it doesn't cover it. Right. It actually cleans, restores, and polishes. That's the big difference. The stuff that's in these containers, uh, you know, the, the waxes and stuff, that's that's basically a Band-Aid. That just yeah, goes well, on the top. It gets, and it builds yeah. up over time. Right, right. And it'll add a little bit of shine to it, but you can't use that stuff yeah. all the time. Otherwise, you're just putting layers of the same wax on top. What you're seeing here is we're actually, we're freeing up the yeah, floor. Yeah, right, right, right. You're bringing back the natural look of the, your wood floors. Now, if you've got a lot of flooring, all right, I, I, I say this every, every time I come on air with Regency Gold, you get two bottles in this set, right. okay, which is an awful lot, okay? It will do a lot of furniture because remember, you're only using a few drops at a time. But for hardwood floors, you want to mix one cup of Regency Gold to a half a gallon of mop water. If you're using it on your hardwood floors, you might want to get two sets if you've got like 1,800 square feet of hardwood floors. Sure. Because you're going to use one set for your hardwood floors and the rest on your furniture. So I just right. give that suggestion. And again, the reason we've sold over, over 600,000 bottles of of Regency Gold here at HSN is because it works so gently on your furniture. I mean, this is an old trunk that we found in an antique store. It's a, this is actually painted and finished wood. And look at the difference that makes. I mean, just with a yeah. little bit of Regency Gold, you can see the, the buildup that's, that it removes. Yeah, that old oxidation. And it's good for your wood. I always yeah. like to say, it's kind of like a conditioner for your wood furniture. Right. Uh, it, it cleans, it polish, polishes, and it feeds your wood. It's actually good for your wood furniture. I mean, yeah. look at the difference that makes. <laughs> Well, it can, just get, a matter it, it of can seconds. get into the pores of the wood and it can really bring out yeah. that richness, whereas waxes and things like that or the spray oils and right. stuff like that, they just rest on the surface and they give things the look yep. that they're shiny, but they don't clean them and they don't bring them back. See, so, you know, all these woods that John's talking about all have a certain beauty to them. They do. And yep. over time, it disappears. And, you know, right? think about all of the wood furniture in your home. It, even just for your dining room table, yeah. all right? Yeah. It's the showpiece of our home, especially come the holidays uh, when you've got uh, friends and family over. You want your dining room table to look beautiful. And I'll tell you, if, if your dining room table now kind of, <laughs> you know, it's full of paperwork and, and sure. uh, you know, <laughs> take, the, take, uh, take a little time, a little bit of Regency Gold, and look at the difference this can make in just a matter of seconds. It brings that old, dull-looking furniture back to life again. Such a, it's it's so much fun. On. We, Turn that piece back into we a get piece. a lot of people, and John, you know this, but yes. we get a lot of people because I know you've done that with a lot of the pieces here that'll yep. go to tag sales, yard sales.